So in the history of geometry, there are three classical geometric problems. Squaring the circle, trisecting an arbitrary angle, and duplicating the cube. We say that all of these are impossible to solve. And in fact, all of these were solved during the 4th century BC. Wait, what? So let's talk about these problems a little bit. The first one, duplicating the cube, emerges as follows. Suppose you have a cube with a side length of a. You want to find a cube with twice the volume will have a side length of x, where a cubed is to x cubed, as 1 is to 2. And so the problem of duplicating the cube comes down to how can we find x? To solve this problem, we have to introduce some extra terms. So the first important term here, which will show up many times in the history of mathematics, is that of a mean proportional. This is not a proportional that goes around bullying other proportionals, but rather it emerges as follows. Given two quantities, a and b, we can insert one mean proportional by finding an x where a is to x as x is to b. And you can see here that in this context, the idea of a mean proportional is that it's some place in the middle. It's some place between a and b. Well, the standard rule in math is anything you can do once, you can do as many times as you want to. So we've put one mean proportional between a and b. Well, let's see if we can insert two mean proportionals. And we'll do that by finding x and y, where a is to x as x is to y as y is to b. And we can find three mean proportionals, x, y, and z, and so on. So another term that will show up is the geometric mean, and that comes from inserting one mean proportional. So if we insert one mean proportional x between a and b, we have a is to x as x is to b. And in modern terms, this gives us a over x is x over b, or cross multiplying a b is equal to x squared. Consequently, we have the following result. Given a and b, the mean proportional x satisfies x is the square root of a times b. And x is also known as the geometric mean. So this brings us to Hippocrates of Chios. Chios is one of the many islands that make up Greece, and Hippocrates of Chios shouldn't be confused with a much more famous contemporary, Hippocrates of Kos. Hippocrates of Kos was the physician, Hippocrates of Chios was the mathematician. We actually know quite a bit about the life of Hippocrates. He lived around 430 BC, and he was a merchant. According to one story, one of his ships was seized by pirates, and he found out that its goods appeared in Athens. And so he went to Athens to try and retrieve them. This required dealing with the Athenian legal system, which took time. So to keep himself entertained, he attended some lectures in mathematics, and after a while, he said to himself, Hippocrates, you can do that. And so he became the first person we know by name to be paid to be a teacher of mathematics. Hippocrates also wrote the first known textbook on geometry, which he called The Elements. We'll talk about that more later. Now, Hippocrates considered the problem of finding two mean proportionals between a and b, and his results are most easily understood if we rewrite this in a somewhat modernized format. So this first proportionality, a is to x as x is to y, we can write that as a over x equals x over y. And if we multiply both of these by a over x and simplify, a squared is to x squared, as a is to y. But wait, there's more. If we look at the first and third ratios, that says that a over x is equal to y over b. So this means we can multiply one side by y over b, and the other side by a over x. Then simplify. 
And this is a very interesting and important result because if b is 2a, then a cubed is to x cubed as 1 is to 2. But this is exactly what we need to do in order to duplicate the cube. And what that means is the problem of duplicating the cube can be solved by finding two mean proportionals. And it's worth pointing out that Hippocrates did a very mathematician thing. He took one problem, duplicating the cube, and said it's the same as another problem inserting two mean proportionals. Of course, he didn't have any idea of how to solve this problem of inserting two mean proportionals, but it did offer two methods of attack on the same problem. 